How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 15 shootout commentary. And this time, I'm going to use my poor old Toronto Maple Leafs. I want to talk about the Leafs a little, a little bit. Uh, not starting off the 2014-2015 regular season on the right foot. 0-2, uh, we lost to the Montreal Canadiens, and then we got smoked by the Pittsburgh Penguins. But honestly, was anyone expecting anything else? I've been saying it all summer long. The Toronto Maple Leafs are looking like a team that is not going to be in the playoffs again. Just as simple as that. And you know what? What really pains me is when I look into the future of the Toronto Maple Leafs, you know, I, I try to think, you know, uh, who do we have on this team that could be, you know, on our team if we could win the Stanley Cup? You know what I mean? How, how many years away are we before we can win the Stanley Cup? And I look at, you know, right now we're kind of like in the Kessel, Phaneuf, Clarkson era because you got these three major contracts. And I, other than like Kessel, I really don't think, uh, well, maybe Phaneuf, but you really can't move those contracts, right? So these guys are going to be on the team for a while. And I really do not think that the Toronto Maple Leafs can win a Stanley Cup being led by these three guys. Phil Kessel. Kessel, yes. I think that Phil Kessel belongs on a Stanley Cup team. Um, and the reason I say this is because just look at the last few teams that have lost in the Stanley Cup Finals and ask yourself, do you think they could have used the services of Phil Kessel? The New York Rangers last year, yeah, I think they would have used Phil over uh, Rick Nash. The year before that, Boston, yeah, I think they could have used him instead of Yarger or Sagan, who didn't show up. The year before that, who was it, New Jersey? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they could have used uh, Phil Kessel against uh, the LA Kings. So I think Phil Kessel belongs on a Stanley Cup team, but everyone else on our team, oh, either young or a little bit too old, you know what I mean? And the guy like Joffrey Lupo falls into that category. He's right in his prime, but, you know, we're not going to win a Stanley Cup in the next five years. No way, no how. we got to go through a rebuild first. So I'm saying, Eichel or McDavid this year, baby, just keep on giving me those regulation losses. Trade away all, all of our older players, all right, just go on for the full-on rebuild. All right, Jonathan Bernier, let's go. And give freaking James Reimer a damn start, man. The, the, the team plays for James Reimer. Ah, you son of a bitch. You pull off the Nikolai Kuhleman move on me? I was going to do the flying poke check, but Pavel Datsuk stays out wide. All right, all right, all right. Nice little move, Pavel Datsuk. Nazem Kadri. All right, the dream. Let's do some nice little, uh, oh, 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 dive, buddy. Why dive. You shouldn't do the why dive. Oh, what a stupid camera angle. All right, but Kadri, he's he's part of the problem as well. All right, because as a center, I just uh, when I'm watching Kadri play, I mean he's still young, he could get better, but it's like an automatic. As soon as he gets the puck, it's like two or three strides before he starts gliding and tries to start dangling, either doing a toe drag or something like like fucking. You're a center, you're not a winger. You got to take care of other stuff first. Play defense, buddy. We're just we're in shambles right now, our team. What do you got for me? Oh, oh, get out of here with your little forehand. All right, so this guy likes really telegraphing that forehand. Fucking Toronto Maple Leafs, man. And it's the same problem. Like, in the Montreal game, it was the same problems. Like, trying stupid breakouts. Tyler Bozak trying to find Phil Kessel, giving up a breakaway. You know, and just stupid shit like that. Right-handed shot. Let's do a Gordie Howe. Let's do a Gordie Howe, baby. Here it is. Gordie Howe. Oh, so <laughs> Phil Kessel ran him over. All right, we got a flying poke check goalie right here. Yeah, he came right out at me. <laughs> Phil, the thrill. And Phil, shut your damn mouth when you're talking on front of the interviewers, man. Don't say stupid shit like, oh, I didn't, I didn't work out at all over the summer. Because when you start off 0-2, that's all everyone talks about. Oh, come on! Did I not save that? Oh, man, he's just doing the same move over and over and over again. I don't believe this. Let's see. Ah, oh, Jonathan Bernier. Bernie Mac, you gotta make that save. All right, so he likes to go fake shot, backhand, back to the forehand. I'm getting back in this. All right, come on, Joffrey Lupel. You're one of the good ones. Come on now, Joffs. Come on now, Joffs. Oh... There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go, Joffrey Lupul. That's his shootout move. The goal that he scored against Pittsburgh last night just proves my point. Joffrey Lupul, he just looks like a pro. The way he moves, you know what I mean? And he's on a shitty team right now. I feel sorry for Joffrey Lupul. He belongs on a playoff team. He's right at that age, man. He, he could have been on the LA Kings last year, but instead they went for Gabbard. And I think that's a great move. I mean, they won the damn Stanley Cup, but that's what I mean. Joffrey Lupul, he does not belong on the Toronto Maple Leafs, man. He's too good for us. All right. Backhand, forehand again. Whoa, 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 he just slapped it this time. All right, this guy loves shooting it. This guy's just rifling it on Jonathan Bernier. Left, right, and center. All right, I can take the lead here. Then I can make a save. Or if I take the lead, let him score, then I can set up the superb man shot. Yeah, okay. Take the lead, let him score. Is he going to come out at me again, though? That's the thing. I got to be I gotta be careful. All right, let's do a, uh, a shh. All right, yeah. A shh. <laughs> oh, come on. How did he recover from that? Bozak, wasn't that wide open? Oh my, you know what? It's my own fault. I should have gone farther, and also, I shot it in the middle of the net because I didn't want to miss. If I aimed to the left, I might have saved that. All right, fake flying poke cheek. He's going to go back to the right. Here it comes. Yep, right forehand. 
Oh, uh, once you realize he didn't hasn't done a single backhand yet this entire time. But he's attacked me every single time. Okay, you know what? In my shootout marathon, I had a well, I didn't, it didn't really come close at all, but you know what? I'm going to say that uh, it felt like it was almost there. So, James Van Reemsdyke. Let's go, son. Let's go, Jay. No, 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 no. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, oh, wow! If only it came out the other side. Oh, my God. Why do you have to wide dive that? You little prick. I might have been able to get that that time. <laughs> All right, uh, I would I would like to try it one more time, but I can't I can't spam it. I just gotta let it happen. When it happens, it happens. May not happen for another three years. Who the hell knows? Phil Kessel, oh, backhand forehand. Oh, take away your forehand this time. Oh, oh no, Phil, you can't do that. Freaking Phil Kessel. All right, so let's just end this one now. Who do I have up next from the Toronto Maple Leafs? Roman, <laughs> Roman Polak. Here, how about this? How about this? Roman Polak coming down the ice. He shoot. Oh my God! I was actually trying to clear shoot it over the glass. I guess you can't shoot it over the glass when you're uh, in the offensive zone. <laughs> Roman Polak. I've had no problem with him though. Big body. Oh, forehand. Yeah, there it is again. Nice little forehand shot. All right, let's end this damn shootout. It's going on too long. Booth. When's this guy gonna get a chance? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Every single time, he just attacks me. All right, there you go. And actually, David Clarkson as well. David Clarkson's been playing pretty good. Um, but then again, he's been playing like a third or fourth liner, and no third or fourth liner should be getting 5.25 for seven years, right? So, I mean, Clarkson, I mean, you're playing better than you did last year where you got four goals, but still, I mean, we could we could bring up a guy from the AHL play the same way you are. So the Toronto Maple Leafs, in my opinion, are just in shambles right now. Um, watching the game last night, Hockey Night in Canada, it, it made me... It, it, it reminded me of what the Toronto Maple Leafs are, you know what I mean? Just not a good defensive team, um, full of players who are either young or just, they're, I don't know what the word is. Like, how do you describe Dion Phaneuf, you know what I mean? Uh, he went in the top 10, he's supposedly a good defender, but he just looks slow out there sometimes. Like when Pacioretty beat him in game number one, beat him to the outside, it was a weak goal. But he's just, he's not like a superstar or anything, right? We got a lot of players like that with big contracts, but just like, uh, underachievers. There you go. There's the good word. Underachievers. All right. Dion Phaneuf. David Clarkson. All right. Just guys like this. And our younger players, still just a little bit too young making mistakes. Like Jake Gardner, still too young. Morgan Riley, still too young. Nazem Kadri, still too young. Guys like uh, James Van Riemsdyk, even. You know, he's considered to be like a, a veteran on our team. But no, he's still young. So I still think the Toronto Maple Leafs are a non-playoff team, all right? Watching Hockey Night in Canada last night, them just breaking down the Leafs, calling them crap. Don Cherry at the intermission saying fucking Shanahan and uh, Nonis are idiots for not drafting Nick Ritchie over William Nylander. <laughs> it just brat brought back all these memories of just like, yeah, we're a shitty team right now. So that's the way I see it for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't think we're going to be a playoff team this year, and I think come around December, maybe before then, I'd say older guys like Joffrey Lupul, um, uh, I wouldn't even be surprised if Robodon, well, Robodon, no, but Pollock, these guys might be traded out just because I don't think it's going to be a good year for the blue and white, but hell, McDavid, baby, let's go for him, all right? So for Johnny Superb, man, and the great Domsky, take it easy, boys, and we'll see you next time.